Restock instantly scalped. True story. For once I saw a card restocker which was cool, except she was chatting with a baseball cap bro leaning on his cart, instantly buying 151 booster bundles and Evolving Skies boosters. All of them. The only grace was that she made him buy out of the machine. But when he left, it was completely out of stock on the only two products I cared about at MSRP, too. What's up, Bruce? It gets worse. Obligatory fuck you to this scalper. My girlfriend was walking to the Pokemon vending machine, and this dude speed walks straight past her and proceeds to clean out the vending machine of evolving skies, not allowing her to even get one pack. The greed and scalping in this hobby is so frustrating. My girlfriend asked to use the machine and he double checked to make sure that he hadn't left any evolving skies left before giving her a turn. Alright, so my last video gave more or less an introductory to what a VMP is, a vending machine scalper. I let you guys know that beginning in Washington State about four years ago, these vending machines have been spreading like locust, like wildfire, like a, like a plague, but specifically in the last year. These things, when I posted that video, I had a feeling that there was so much more. There was so much more to figure out. There was so much more to this that over the last few days, I have gone on a deep dive and I have uncovered statistics, facts, things about these vending machines that I didn't even know you could figure out. Um, basically, I went on a deep dive and every single Reddit article, every single post that involves the keywords Pokemon and vending machine, I've read it my informant in Seattle. I called him up asking him questions and to my shock, he had very specific answers for me. And yeah, so basically I puzzle pieced a bunch of stuff together and I, it, this is, this is insane. This absolutely warrants a follow-up video. And to be honest, this topic I am going to be tracking for the foreseeable future because the Pokemon company is going absolutely hard as hell into these vending machines. And it all starts in Bellevue, Washington. Okay. So for those of you that don't know, Bellevue, Washington, east side of Seattle, Bellevue, Redmond, and Mercer Island is a massive hub of some of the biggest, most influential, powerful tech companies in the entire world. Why am I bringing this up? because this is where these vending machines have been researched and developed and have been basically rolled out and tested in the state of Washington and now in six states across the nation for a grand total of 208 vending machines. Okay, so since October, the Pokemon Company International has nearly doubled the number of its Pokemon TCG vending machines in the United States. There are now 200 machines. For the first time ever, the machines can now be found in California. There are currently 22 Vons, Albertsons, and Food for Less stores hosting them in Los Angeles County and Orange County. It's clear the Pokemon Company International is making a concentrated effort to grow the number of these machines. In October of 2023, Remember this, guys. In October of 2023, there were 120 machines. In June, remember this, of 2023, there were only 45 machines. A limited number of these machines first appeared in 2017 at malls near the Pokemon Company International Headquarters in Washington, Bellevue, Washington. Since then, they have expanded in this order to Oregon, Colorado, Arizona, Texas, and now California, as of about two months ago. The machines exclusively offer Pokemon TCG merchandise at MSRP, such as booster packs, elite trainer boxes, and tens. Okay, we talked about Bellevue being like the tech capital of the world. 
A lot of people think it's Sil Silicon Valley, but to be honest, Microsoft, Nintendo Corporation of America, the Pokemon Company International, huge Amazon headquarters, literally the most powerful people, the most powerful tech companies in the world are right here, all shoulder to shoulder, right next door in Bellevue and Redmond and Mercer Island, Washington. These vending machines, version one on the left, version two on the right, for the first couple years, version one was what you saw. But the Pokemon company put potentially, obviously, in my opinion, millions of dollars into R&D in these things. And last year, they finally perfected their new model. Let's call it Automated Vending Machine 2.0 on the right. The last 150 vending machines that have been popping up at a rate we will get into, but it is 20 per month, almost one new vending machine a day, are all this new style that, again, is rolling out of the Pacific Northwest, out of Bellevue, and spreading across the nation at a rate of almost one vending machine a day. So here we go. Between the three Polka Beach articles, June 2023, 45 machines confirmed by Polka Beach, and then in October, another Polka Beach article, 120 confirmed at some point in October. And then March, 10 or 11 days ago, a third update. Polka Beach reports there are now 200 plus vending machines. This list of vending machines is general knowledge provided by the Pokemon Company. So right here and now, you can get on the Pokemon Company website, look at the list of vending machines, in every single day that you get on that list, you will literally see that it says updated one day ago. That is how many vending machines are popping up like wildfire. So all I did here was I took the June 45, the October 125, the March 200, and I just did some basic math. And it turns out that almost exactly 20 per month is the rate they are growing at. Literally, if you just put 20 per month, it goes lock and step with Polka Beach's reportings. Per state vending machine count. There are now, today, as of March 20th, 208 vending machines. I counted the list three times. Okay, Washington, where it all started, 64. That makes sense. Oregon, 25. Colorado 44, Texas 33, Arizona 20, California 22, just in the last couple months. To a weed! What's up, Heart Squad? How many Evolving Skies packs? How many Evolving Skies packs? Now, this is something when I called my informant, my vending machine pirate that I know in Seattle, I was wondering if I could get some rough estimations, I was just curious if he could say, based on the fact that over the last 90 days, my informant in Seattle, and I do not condone what he is doing at all, he amassed 450 vending machine packs. That picture you saw on that last slide, that's his packs sent to me from his phone, okay? So I asked him, hey man, do you know about how many are stocked and about how frequently? Without hesitation, he goes, oh, it's 50. Wait, you, you know, yeah, it's 50. And then before I can even ask, yeah, and it's six ETBs. So how, how do you know that? Oh, I've, I've seen, I've literally watched the, the lady bring the cart and restock and it says and I've talked to her, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I know for a fact it is 50 single Evolving Skies packs and six Evolving Skies ETBs. And just a reminder, guy, these, the, these Evolving Skies packs are 399 and the Evolving Skies ETBs are 39 99 and they come with eight packs etb okay and he absolutely confirmed that this is a once a week restock these pokemon employees hit up every single vending machine and top them off on a absolute 100 percent weekly basis now this photo you see this is an actual pokemon center employee restocking one of these new version 2 automated vending machines and as she is restocking it you can see clearly on the screen the par column what they're at and it shows you exactly this photo i found on reddit going real deep into some reddit posts i found this the day after i talked to him and it 100 percent backs up what my informant in seattle the one pirate i know says so 
Here's where stuff starts to get insane. One thing I can tell you for absolute sure is that every single Evolving Skies pack and Evolving Skies ETB that gets stocked on a weekly basis, they're not just gone by the time it's weekly restocked for the next week. They are gone by noon that day that they are restocked. And I actually know a loose time when these are stocked on the weekly restock. And I don't want to create more chaos, so I'm not going to tell you what I've heard. <laughs> but I am going to tell you that by noon that day, and to be honest, 10 minutes after, literally 10 minutes after, well, an hour because of how long it takes to dispense the packs. But within one hour of all 208 of these vending machines being stocked, I guarantee you they no longer have evolving skies in them, period. So this math is actually very realistic given the fact that we know absolutely for sure the number of vending machines on a month basis and we know for sure that all the evolving skies always sell out pretty much rather immediately so based on that kind of growth chart that we created we know that in january there were approximately 180 vending machine packs that's 50 packs times 180 that's 9,000 packs a week we know that there are six etbs we know that there are 48 packs in six ETBs. So times 180 machines, you get 8,640 packs per week out of the ETBs. So add the 9,000 loose packs plus 8,640 ETB packs, and you get 17,640 packs a week in January. Times that by four weeks. That is 70,560 either loose or or ETB packs of Evolving Skies that are sold and enter the market via these automated vending machine. All of a sudden, that's starting to sound like a lot. Now, February, we know there were 200 machines. let us I'm not going to repeat all that. I'm just going to let you know that I just switched out 180 with 200 because that's the variable that changed. So now we have 10,000 packs per week out of the 50 loose packs and we have 9,600 packs per week out of those ETBs. So that gives us 78,400 packs in the month of February that were vended, that were sold, usually to the scalpers, from the Pokemon Company International just in February. Now March, I can tell you hands down for sure that there's 208 vending machines today. But let's round down, because in the beginning of February, there were probably slightly less than 200 machines. At the end of March, there will probably be about 220 machines. So let's not overestimate. Let's, let's just keep it simple. And so for March, we will just plug in the same numbers from February, and we will come up with 78,400 packs. Granted, it could actually be a lot more, a lot more than that. But I don't want to overestimate. If anything, I want to underestimate. So... 78,400 plus 78,400 plus 70,560. Over the last 90 days, the Pokemon vending machines have dispensed approximately 227,360 packs of Evolving Skies via loose packs and ETBs just this year alone. 227,360 packs, which basically boils down to about 6,300 booster boxes. And there's six booster boxes in a case, so you're talking well over a thousand cases of Evolving Skies. And all the while, we're all wondering hey, it's been three years. Is Evolving Skies going to get a reprint? Are they ever going to list more Evolving Skies on the Pokemon Center website? Everything revolving around reprints always comes back to the Pokemon Center website. What I'm trying to tell you guys is that, look, take all this information and please comment in the comments below and let me know, is 227,360 packs of Evolving Skies a lot? Is that enough to matter? or not. I'm just a regular human being. So when I envision 227,000 packs of Evolving Skies in front of my face, it's just a it's just a lot. And 
you all the while see sold out on Pokemon Center. You see all these videos about all these people wondering, is it going to be reprinted? Is, is the time done? Is there no more reprints? Is there this and that? And then meanwhile, the one thing no one's tracking, no one's taking an account for, because it's not on eBay, it's not on TCG Player, it's not recorded online, is these automated retail vending machines and these 227,000 packs. Let's just say over 200,000 just in the last 90 days and meanwhile everyone thinks the pokemon center isn't even selling any any evolving skies so there you go does that mean that they have literally created a new way a new extremely lucrative financially savvy way where a year ago they fell in love with these vending machines and they knew if they put good products like Evolving Skies, 151, the foot traffic would come. And you guys, here's the scary thing. These things are so intelligent, they know how many people walk by them. They literally send a daily report back to the Pokemon Company International that literally tells them how many people walked in front of the vending machine, how many people touched the screen. These things are insane. Those LCD touchscreens, those are expensive, okay? What I'm telling you is the Pokemon Company loves these machines and they are spreading almost at a rate of one machine a day and anything that is lucrative from 151 to evolving skies to two years ago when they had their version one models everyone was wondering is hidden fates getting a reprint is hidden fates getting a reprint when are they gonna are they gonna do hidden fates all the while all these reddit posts started showing up about these hidden fates etbs in these vending machines but there were only 40 at the time. But that was exceptionally successful. And here we are just a couple years later. They're north of 200. In a month, they'll be at 250. By the end of this year, there will probably maybe even be 400 vending machines. If they're not in your state now, I guarantee you, they, unless you live in the middle of nowhere, within the next couple years, these things are going to be everywhere. I have never seen a company just just so covertly develop a technology and then roll it out without anybody really noticing. Because if you don't live in these six states, all this could be completely over your head. And so anyway, 200 plus thousand packs of Evolving Skies. Has the Pokemon company been secretly leaking reprints? Did they save like a half warehouse full of pallets of Evolving Skies knowing they were gonna have 200 plus machines? in the beginning of 2024 i don't know all i know is you guys should probably start paying attention to these vending machines and you should look out for them and you should know that this is the new way that the pokemon company wants to get out harder to buy sealed products all right guys it is what it is please tell me if you know, Mimic Brew, you're onto something. This is insane. Like, they literally just straight up sold hundreds of thousands of Evolving Skies packs without people knowing. Or is is 200,000 Evolving Skies packs, like, hardly anything? To be honest, I'm a regular human being, so 200,000 Evolving Skies packs for $3.99 each? Like, that just sounds like a lot to me. And, you know, in my opinion, I think this is the way the Pokemon Company is just going to release the type of products that sell out instantly that cause their website to crash yada 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 and they are just going to continue pumping millions of dollars into these machines for a reason because it is clearly working for them and again if you want more context and if you want to see just the difference of how much i i knew four days five days ago versus now go watch my previous upload kind of lays the foundation for this and I absolutely am going to track this. I am going to every couple months see how many vending machines are, update you guys on what states they're in. And there's always going to be some new hard to obtain product that's getting scalped after Evolving Skies. You know, 151 is going to keep getting worse. But these vending machines are just going to keep growing and growing and becoming a bigger, bigger part of how the Pokemon Company International sells its sealed products. All right, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. See you on the next one. Deuces.